Hi, this is Lori Williams. Welcome to your PRV moment. Today, in continuation of our talks on biological targets last week, this week I want to talk to you about people targets. For whatever reason, very few viewers like to view people or do well at viewing people. Why do you think that is? Well, I've kind of thought about it quite a bit, and I think it might be because a lot of us have social anxiety. You know, we just kind of are uncomfortable around people, or maybe you feel like a peeping Tom if you're viewing a person. So what could it be that would make a lot of viewers feel uncomfortable about viewing people? Oftentimes when you're viewing people, it can feel very intimate. So why is it that it can be so difficult to view people? Um, personally, I love viewing people. Um, I feel that being able to view and describe a person is one of the best things you can do as a remote viewer. It's really helpful for law enforcement, for finding the condition of victims, for being able to locate criminals. Um, it's handy for so many different types of things, even looking at historical things. It can be really wonderful to have the ability to accurately view and describe people. Many times all you need to do is physically describe someone. Height, weight, um, race, skin color, eye color, hair color, uh, ethnicity. You don't have to get into belief systems and all those kinds of things if you don't want to. Now, sometimes that information can be needed and be very handy, so it really depends. But let's talk about some of the ins and outs of viewing people. Among remote viewers, the ability to view people accurately can be a very rare quality. It's something that has to be developed, um, and usually if the viewer loves people anyway and enjoys talking to people and is an extrovert, a lot of times those viewers do well at viewing people because they just love people. Sometimes people who are naturally shy uh, might have a little bit more difficulty. Not always. I do know some shy viewers who are excellent at viewing people. But every now and then you might get somebody who's a little bit shy or has social anxiety or social awkwardness. And that can be tough sometimes to view people. So what about you? What are your insecurities regarding people? especially strangers. How do you feel around strangers? How do you feel about getting to know someone you've never met before? Is it a little bit uncomfortable? Well, you'll find that if it's uncomfortable in real life, it's usually uncomfortable um, when you're remote viewing too. We, anything we would turn our eyes away from in real life, we tend to turn our eyes away from when we're viewing as well. So let's talk about that. How do we get around those things? How do you get around it if you're having a hard time, if you're, if you're uncomfortable around people? Okay, well, you're maybe not going to like the answer that I'm going to give you. But the answer is practice, practice, practice. How do you get to Carnegie Hall? Practice, 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 right? So practicing is the key. If you are uncomfortable at anything new, and Anything new is, is always a little bit uncomfortable, isn't it? Anytime we try something new or we do something new, it can be uncomfortable. So the way to get around it is to just make yourself do it. And if you have the front loading, the target is a person, then you automatically know that it's going to be someone and you can't avoid it. Whereas if you don't know that it's a person, then sometimes what happens is you'll, you know, view the man-made and you'll view the land and you'll view the water and you'll absolutely avoid viewing the person. Sorry for all the moving around. This is a gimbal and I'm still new at it, so I'm still learning how to do it. Another thing to ask yourself, do you consider yourself to be an introvert or an extrovert? It's always good to know these things about yourself. Okay, so I'm kind of in the shadows right now, but that's because I just wanted you to see this beautiful sunset. It's one of the drawbacks of filming at sunset, but I just wanted you to come see these beautiful, this beautiful sunset. Okay, so what about dangers? Are there any dangers inherent in viewing people? The answer is, if you're a new viewer, you should be generally safe when you're viewing people. Because when you're viewing a person, if you're just describing the person's height, weight, 
size, race, ethnicity, hair color, eye color, things like that, it's usually not a problem. So I recommend for basic viewers that you stick to physical descriptors when you're viewing people, and that's the easiest way to stay safe. And always be sure to detox afterwards. If you've gotten deep into viewing someone, it's important to detox. Another thing to consider when you're viewing people is if you are a more experienced viewer and you've really gotten into describing how the person is feeling emotionally, then you have to be sure that you're keeping your feelings separate from that person's feelings. Don't take on another person's emotions and feelings. And if you think you have, or even if you aren't sure, make sure that you're detoxing thoroughly. And we'll have a separate video on detoxing. But you want to be sure that you're always separating your own life and your own personality and your own thoughts and your own feelings and opinions from whoever is at the target. The ability to remote view people accurately and well is one of the best abilities you can have as a controlled remote viewer. Just remember to stay safe, keep your own life yours, don't take on other people's stuff, and always be sure to detox after you've been viewing people. And if you're a naturally shy person, that's okay. It's, it's great to just be who you are. And believe it or not, shy people can sometimes be really good at viewing people. My husband Jim is a naturally shy guy. And actually, though, he is so observant because he's quiet and he really pays attention. And people like that can often be excellent at viewing people. So keep that in mind if you consider yourself an introvert. And if you're an extrovert and you love people, then dive in and really get good at describing the physical attributes of everyone. When you've gotten really good at describing the physical attributes, maybe you can even start sketching people. You could take some art classes and learn how to sketch people, and then you'll be able to depict what you're perceiving and put it on paper, which is great. Really helps the police when you're able to give them sketches, for example. Sketches of persons of interest. Thanks for joining me in this week's PRV Moment. I'm Lori Williams, and I'll see you next week. Thank <laughs> you.